going on, man? The man accused of attacking Paul Pelosi in his home tearfully took the stand in his own defense on Tuesday. David DePap testified when he brutally attacked Pelosi one year ago. Drop the hammer. Um, no. Hey, 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 hey. What is Sorry, going on right I'm now? not getting an answer on call. Oh, oh, oh. He was in fact looking for then House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. A remorseful DePap apologized for hurting Pelosi and said he feared for the then 82-year-old's life after hitting him in the head with a hammer saying, quote, I actually thought he was dead until I saw the charges against me and saw it was attempted murder. DePap's testimony revealed a man consumed by conspiracy theories. He started sobbing while claiming the media spread lies about former President Donald Trump and talked about believing one of his targets was promoting pedophilia. DePap also repeated to the jury what he told investigators about his true intentions behind his visit to then Speaker Nancy Pelosi's house. Well, I was going to basically hold her hostage and I was going to talk to her and basically tell her what I do. If she told the truth, I would let her go scot free. If she lied, that would have been very good. Other targets on his list included Representative Adam Schiff, actor Tom Hanks, former U.S. Attorney General Bill Barr, California Governor Gavin Newsom, and a university professor referred to only as Target One during the trial for her protection. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Paul Pelosi testified Monday his recovery after the attack is ongoing. One year later, he said he's managed to relearn how to walk, but still regularly gets headaches due to his skull fracture. DePap's defense team says he did attack Pelosi, a crime caught on police body cameras, but says prosecutors are wrong about DePap's motive, which they say is unrelated to Pelosi's official duties. This trial is on federal charges of assault on the immediate family member of a federal official and attempted kidnapping of a federal official. DePap faces decades in prison if convicted. The state case against him on charges of attempted murder, burglary and assault is expected to start later this month. Veronica Miracle, CNN, San Francisco.